Hi, my name is Chris Noble. I'm an independent IT consultant. My website is www.doglikehorse.com. This is a short video on how to change a partition on a hard drive. The most important thing to remember when changing anything with partitions on your computer is that this can result in the loss of all of your data. You need to really know what you're doing here before messing around. So the best way to proceed is to make sure everything is backed up and you have everything securely stored elsewhere so in the event of you making a mistake you can restore your computer and its data. The next thing to understand is that each physical drive in your computer can be partitioned into as many partitions as you'd like. Say for instance you have a one terabyte drive you can have one big large drive that has one terabyte of storage or you could have two 500 gigabyte drives or five 200 gigabyte drives or one 700 gigabyte drive and a 300 gigabyte drive, it's entirely up to you. That's where partitioning comes in. You'll be able to choose the size of each of the drives. Now, each drive you create will have a new letter associated with it, and you'll be able to format each of those drives independently of each other. On a Mac, which is what we're using today, all you'll need to do is click on the drive you wish to partition. The partition tab should be available at the top. Once you click on that, it'll give you access to that drive. You can then remove any partitions that are on that drive, which will destroy all of the data on that drive. And then recreate the partitions in whichever configuration you choose. My name's Chris Noble. Thanks for watching this video on how to change a partition on a hard drive.